Hey there and welcome to No Recipe Required. I'm Dave and tonight I'm going to show you how to do a blue cheese burger. It is, uh, it's one of my favorite versions. We do burgers maybe once every two weeks or so. They're tasty, they're simple, they're fast and um, frankly with the cheeses, with the toppings, garnishes, you can change them up, make them pretty interesting. Tonight, you know, I like that sour, salty, sweet taste of the, uh, not so sweet, sour and salty taste of the blue cheese. I'm going to show you how to lay it on there, how to cap it. We'll go obviously over how to cook the burger and how to make it absolutely perfect. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we've got our uh, ground beef here for our blue cheese burger. And I just, uh, you know, seasoned it with salt and pepper and now I'm just combining it all together, distributing that salt and pepper throughout. And we're going to make, uh, make the patties. I think it's super important to get some of that salt and pepper in the meat itself. Well seasoned burger is a good tasting burger. Go ahead and make the patties. You can go thick, you can go thin. Um, you know, do it however you want. You know, lots of people tell you their way is the best. I say your way is the best. Cooking burgers is super simple. And uh, so will this blue cheese burger. I've got my pan. I'm going to do it on the stovetop, obviously. You can easily do it on the grill. It's great on the grill. Um, obviously, I've got a saute pan here over medium heat. I let it get nice and hot. Then I take my burger. There's a little bit of olive oil. Lay my burger down. You want to hear some sizzle there. You don't need it like smoking hot like uh, like we do on a lot of other um, you know searing jobs. I only flip my burger once, so I just put it in here. I'm just going to tilt the pan to kind of make sure the oil coats everywhere, um, and I'm just going to let it go. Probably you know burger this thick, maybe this is an inch and a half, maybe four minutes on this first side, and then we're going to flip it over. We'll top with cheese. That'll be it. Okay, it's been around three or four minutes. And if you look, I have not touched my burgers, but I can see on the edges here that the, uh, you know, the doneness, the brownness is starting to creep up the sides. That's definitely an indicator that it's time to flip. And I'm just going to lay hand on one. I got a nice brown on the, on the side, that's up, that side that's down there. I'm going to flip the other side. I'm just going to let this go for about 30 seconds, and then we're going to uh, top it with the cheese. Okay, like I said, I let my burger go for um, you know 30 seconds or so, just because I don't want the cheese to get too melted on me. I've got some uh, some Maytag blue cheese that I'm just gonna lay on like I would a normal cheese, and then um, I like to go ahead and take a, a bowl like that and just tent the burger. That creates a little bit of a, a, an oven in there, and will uh, will help melt the cheese. Okay, it won't take long for the cheese to melt. Pull it off the uh, flame and just onto a plate. Let it rest for just two or three minutes for the juices to settle down a little bit. Okay, once your burger's rested a few minutes, lay it on a nice toasted bun, if that's your preference, and you've got this beautiful blue cheese burger. I'll see you next time on No Recipe Required. <laughs>